Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another video. Still feeling a little bad, but um, I'll, I'll soldier on through it. But I wanted to go ahead and try to work on the land ship or land carrier a little bit more. Finally put a like an elevator like thing in the front. It works really well and it looks good. It's got a little bit of something that's in the way and you'll find that out later in the video. But I can take care of that next time I come back to this craft. Someone suggested to put blast shields or like, you know, on a real aircraft carrier just before a jet takes off. A type of blast wall comes up behind the engine and it helps it take off by allowing the thrust to push against something. I thought that was a cool idea, so I might go ahead and do that. Wasn't able to do it this video, but I got a few things on the checklist knocked off for today. In the video, you'll see me trying to fix the wheels, and while the big wheels look nice and cool and all that, I think the craft weighs almost 500 tons. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. The wheels just simply did not have any oomph in them whatsoever. Trying to go forward and back, let alone stopping, was a challenge. So I'm really glad I actually put those large jet engines on the back because now what I'm going to do is just take the traction off of all the airplane gears since airplane gears are a hell of a lot stronger I don't have to worry about them popping under that kind of stress and if I take the friction off the ship tends to slide back and forth like it's on ice but I can use the engines their thrust reverse and forward thrust and all this other good stuff to kind of steer the craft like you would an actual boat so I think that's how I'm going to steer this craft from now on if I need to stop I'll just either manually bring tr traction up on one of the wheels or put it on an action group if I can. I don't think I can. I'd have to go back and look. But worst case scenario, I'll actually have a type of anchor gear. A gear dedicated to full on traction and full on 100% brakes. And like one will, I'll either have it directly in the middle of the craft or one in front and one in back. Like, you know, two sets. One in front and one in back. Or something like that. When it's anchored. And then when it's not anchored, I just pull up the anchor. Anchor gear. I'm gonna call it the anchor gear and set sail for the sunrise or sunset or horizon yes that's what i want to say in this video you will also see the kraken attack and boy does it attack i'll let you find out what happens it took me by surprise too so but other than that i think the cherry on the top is something that you already saw in the thumbnail instead of testing out the anchor or not the anchor but the uh, elevator with a tiny little rover i said you know what screw it i'm just grab my tank put it up there it's not the one with all the flags because that's like 500 parts this one's only 280 parts so I figured next to a 600 part craft it wouldn't hurt me too bad but that's when I learned that there's something in the way of the elevator which I'll have to fix in another episode however I was able to get the tank on board which is pretty cool but the Kraken attacked again I, sh I shouldn't say the Kraken it wasn't really a bug more than it was a feature I tried to put little hooks inside the bay to hook on to crafts to hold them there but I'm looks like I'm gonna have to make sure I get or select some of the parts for a same vessel interaction when I do this. I kind of forgot and when I hooked up or tried to hook up the tank to the carrier, well, you'll find out what happens. I want to thank you all for coming and thank you all for watching. It's a work in progress, but we're almost done with this. A lot of people have been asking me for my craft files and I just want to let everyone know that I do intend to release them eventually one day when I have the time. Uh, probably a Kerbal X. Is it Kerbal X? I think or something like that. One at a time, slowly just release them. But uh, like I said, I'm extre extremely ordinarily busy and I've uh, got to deal with real life on top of that so love you all please take care and I'll see you in the next video I am Veos signing off